Hi, the SI Meteorologist, Paul Dorian here on Monday, March 31st. Well, it certainly doesn't feel like baseball weather here this morning in the Mid-Atlantic region. Still quite cold and windy, some mixed precipitation falling across New York City, New Jersey region this morning as that weekend storm system finally slowly pulls away to the north and east. It looks like it'll finally release its grip on the Mid-Atlantic region by this afternoon. There will be some improvement this afternoon and noticeable improvement by tomorrow in uh, the Mid-Atlantic region with sunshine on Tuesday and mild temperatures reaching 60 degrees in many Mid-Atlantic locations. The uh, colder air wrapped into the storm system on Sunday and Sunday night with a little bit of snow and sleet in the Philadelphia suburbs, more than just a little bit in the D.C. suburbs, where many of the suburban locations north and west of the district actually had enough heavy wet snow to cover the grassy surfaces late in the day on uh, uh, on Sunday. And this morning there continues to be, again, some sleet and snow mixed in with the precipitation as it pulls to the north and east across New Jersey and New York City region. Again, by this afternoon, all areas should become dry and there will be some noticeable improvement this afternoon. But the biggest change will be felt by all in the Mid-Atlantic region on Tuesday. Here's a look at the latest radar loop from the Penn State Ewald site. All kinds of colors here as there's just a complete mixture of snow, sleet, and rain in the um, uh, New, New Jersey, New York City region. Still a heck of a swirl of the pattern here as the storm just spins off the northeast coastline. It was a, a very wa a long lasting significant storm over the weekend with a lot of rainfall in many areas, up to two to three inches of rainfall. And again, colder air became a big factor on Sunday and Sunday night. As that colder air moved in, it changed over to heavy wet snow and some of the higher elevations just in the north and west of the big cities are covering throughout the suburbs of D.C., both on the Virginia side and Maryland side. A little bit of sleet and snow overnight and early this morning in the Philly suburbs. And right now, across New Jersey and New York City, a mixed bag of snow, sleet, and rain as this storm continues to have an effect on parts of the Mid-Atlantic region. Well, here's a look at the current U.S. surface map. Low pressure spinning slowly off the Mid-Atlantic coastline will finally give way this afternoon and will get dry throughout the Mid-Atlantic region. It's dry right now across D.C., but still some precipitation falling in New Jersey and New York City. Notice out here in the middle part of the country, though, this spells trouble for later in the week here in the Mid-Atlantic region. A major storm system out there in the center part of the country. It'll be a major snow producer for the Dakotas and upstate Minnesota. This region right in here will get a significant snowstorm over the next 24 hours or so. And on the south side, on the warm side of this, of this uh, developing storm system, we'll have to watch for severe weather, including the threat for tornadoes over the next 24 to 36 hours or so. A lot of this activity gradually moves to the east, and we become quite unsettled here in the Mid-Atlantic region as the week progresses. Well, here's a look at the latest infrared satellite imagery loop from the SSEC Wisconsin website. Really an active pattern here. We can see not one, not two, but three separate swirling systems. Here's one just off the mid-Atlantic coastline. This is, of course, associated with that long-lasting weekend storm here in the mid-Atlantic region. First, it dumped significant amounts of rainfall on the region, and then as the colder air wrapped in, even some snow in the higher elevations, even some accumulating snow, just north and west of D.C., a little bit of snow and sleet in Philly, and now that's occurring across New Jersey and New York City. Here is the next system to worry about. It's in the center part of the country, and it will become an all-out blizzard for a good part of the Dakotas and Minnesota over the next 24 hours or so. And then just off the west coast, another huge storm system pushing another uh, band of heavy uh, rain into uh, areas from northern California up along the Pacific Northwest coast. They've been inundated with heavy rainfall over the last week or so, and it looks like over the next week it'll continue to be quite wet from the northern half of California up across the Pacific Northwest coastline. Well, there certainly will be improvement this afternoon in the Mid-Atlantic region and much improvement on Tuesday. Tomorrow looks to be a very nice day throughout the Mid-Atlantic region with plenty of sunshine and high temperatures, again, reaching 60 degrees or higher in most locations. 
However, the weather certainly becomes unsettled as we progress through the second half of the week. We'll take a look at the computer forecast models um, from last night's Zero Z GFS run for Wednesday morning. This is Wednesday morning forecast map, and we have a frontal system here that is extending all the way across the uh, Midwest into the Mid-Atlantic region and it basically becomes a stalled out front and we dealt with a stalled out frontal system late last week that paved the way for the weekend rainstorm and here we have another situation here where a stalled out frontal system will pave the way for a lot of unsettled weather here for the second half of the week. This is for Wednesday morning. Let's now jump ahead 24 hours. And here's the forecast map for Thursday morning. That frontal system still sitting right in this region here. And notice this precipitation extending from the Mid-Atlantic region all the way out into the middle part of the country. Kind of riding along that frontal system. We got used to that type of pattern at the end of last week and into the weekend. Let's now jump ahead another 24 hours. <clears throat> And here's the forecast map for Friday morning. Frontal system still sitting right there in the mid-Atlantic region. And again, some precipitation depicted by the GFS model all the way out to the uh, middle part of the country from the mid-Atlantic region. So again, it looks like there can be uh, at least a shower or two any of the days from Wednesday through Friday. Let's now jump ahead to Saturday. And yet another unsettled day here. Low pressure finally moving to the Great Lakes region. Still some signs of a frontal system right in the mid-Atlantic region with some precipitation here. So the bottom line is enjoy the day on Tuesday as it will be dry and sunny throughout the mid-Atlantic region with mild temperatures. But once we get to Wednesday and progress through Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, there can be some rain each and every one of those days. Not Certainly not uh, the entire time and, and a couple of those days will by a, a no stretch be total washouts but somewhat unsettled weather for the second half of the work week. Well that's it for now for the SIWeather.com. I'm meteorologist Paul Dorian.